Hey, Lynn, can you believe what today is? Can you, can you? What is today? Easter. It's Easter. Finally, Easter is here. My favorite story, Easter? Yes, your favorite story, our favorite story in the church, all about Jesus, his death, his resurrection, all of it. It's all about Jesus today. So, is that what we're doing today? That's what we're doing today. So, we're doing the Easter story? We're doing the Easter story. So, what is... This looks like a lot of stuff today. It is. It's going to be a jam-packed day today. I'm so excited. Jam-packed on Easter and what are these things? These are the resurrection eggs. And speaking of these eggs, things. you should have all received the packet inside of your Easter baskets you got all earlier the, this week. You mean the Thrive Kids that's in your yes. class? They got Easter baskets? They got Easter baskets. So what if some people might be watching that didn't receive these? Can they still follow along? They can still follow along. So they can go the same order as, okay, right. good. That's so right. we're, are we starting with the story or we're starting right, lesson with the story. Or with right, the story. right with the story? Right with the story. Right with the story. First easy. Yep. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. So the first one is... is uh, it is silver. Silver. Which is found in Matthew 26, 14 through 16. Ah, uh, would this be where Judas betrayed him? That is correct. Oh, and he did it for silver, didn't he? Yes, but how many pieces of silver? I'm not taking my shoes off to count this. Was it 30? 30. 30 pieces That's what of silver. It was. He betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. 30 oh my pieces goodness. Of Let's silver. move on past that. I can't believe he did that to Jesus. What's well, the next one? Here we go. Moment. Number two is talking about the Last Supper, which is found in Matthew 26, 17 through 30. So was this steak and baked potatoes or chicken or not necessary. So what was there? It was bread and wine. Bread and wine. So, oh, oh, was this where Jesus had all the disciples and he broke the bread and said, this yes. is where my body's going to be broke and the, yeah. the blood and all that that was shed for us? Yeah, we do that today. And isn't that called communion? It is, isn't it? Communion. It's called communion. Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. That is so awesome. What's number three on the resurrection day? Number three I'm is... so excited today because it's Easter. A rooster. Huh? Which is found in Matthew 26, 69 through 75. A rooster. A rooster. Wait, wait, wait. Did this happen at the Last Supper too? It did happen at the Last Supper too. Who was, Jesus was talking to somebody about this. He was. He was talking to Peter about this. Oh, this is where he told Peter he, he would betray him. Yeah. And deny him three times. Three Three times, times before the... Rooster crowed. That's right. Oh my goodness. Judas betrayed him. Peter. That's a lot of betraying. Let's move on to the next resurrection egg. And the next one is. Yes. I'm so excited. This is fun. The crown of thorns, oh. which is found in Matthew 27, 27 through 31. Is this where they put that on his head? Yes. Mm. They took the thorns and they wrapped it into a crown. And placed it on his head. Oh, you know that had to hurt. That yeah. that had to have hurt. You guys, I bet that really hurt. Oh. Do you oh. remember why they put the crown of thorns on him? Was it because he said he was a king? Was it the crown of thorns? Yeah. Yes. Was it because he said he was a king? That's right, because he is one. But those people didn't believe he is it at the king. moment. That's correct. He is our king. That is correct. Mm. What's the next one, Kate? The next one is. Are you ready? I'm ready. I think the kids are ready too. It Here is we go. The cross found Ooh. in John 19, 16 through 18. There's not much to say about this other than that just that's our symbol. That is our symbol. Jesus died on the cross for us. So that we could be here today uh -huh. to celebrate Easter. He died on that cross for you and me and for you guys. Wow. The power of the cross. You ready for the next one? Look, we're halfway. Getting halfway there. Right, halfway right here, right? Yep. yep. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Number six. Number six is... Dice. Huh? It talks about it in John 19, 23 through 24. That's a game. That is a game. But what they did is they took the dice, they went like this, and they threw them out for Jesus' clothes. What? Yep. 
You mean they played a game to see who would get Jesus close? Yep, that's correct. They rolled the dice. Just rolled the dice. Oh, that's just not even cool. That is not cool. Not cool. No. Not cool at all. Oh, my goodness. What's the next one? Number seven. Here we go. Is it another game? We'll is it another rooster? It is darkness. Huh? Which is talked about in Matthew 27, 43. Wait, 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 wait. Was this after he was hanging here? They did this, and all of a sudden it started to get dark? It went pitch black. Like totally dark? Totally dark. Oh, my goodness. Totally dark. And that's when Jesus was about to commit a spirit, wasn't it? That is correct. Wow. And it got dark. Yes. It got everybody's attention, I bet. Yes. And do you know what else happened when it went dark? What? Is the earth started to shake. What? The earth started to shake. The earth shook? Yes, it did. Whoa. And do you remember what happened to that curtain? The one in the temple? Yes. It tore. It tore. Just oh. like a piece of paper. It just tore. It just tore. So in the middle of all this darkness, there was one light that shined. That's correct. And that was Jesus. That's right. I'm getting this story. I'm getting, getting it. There. I'm getting, getting it. There. I'm getting it. Here we go. Ready for the next one? Yes. Time? What's next? Next one is anticipation's getting me here. The sponge, huh? which this is talked about in Matthew 27 46 through 48. Jesus got a bath, he didn't get a bath, but he was on the cross and he was dirty. He got a bath. No. That's not what the sponge is. That's not what the sponge is. He didn't get cleaned up. He did not get cleaned up. What's the sponge for then? They um, they dipped it, and what is that juice? Oh, it was sour stuff. It was sour vinegar stuff. stuff. Vinegar yes. stuff. Yes. Oh, I, yeah, I remember now that you said that they, mm -hmm. what, but why did they dip it in there? Because they thought Jesus would need a drink. A vinegar? A vinegar. Oh, that's what you dye your Easter eggs in. Oh. Yeah, uh, so who Jesus, wouldn't want to drink vinegar? No. Jesus yuck. Said no. Ah. Jesus said no. Yeah, drink. what's next? The next one is. <clears throat> a piece of cloth. A piece of cloth. Which is talked about in Matthew 27, 57 through 60. Okay, I'm going to change sides with you a minute. Okay. We, can we got it. silver, this, that, that. So, he was here. Th this must have happened after he died. That's correct. So, these were the cloths that, was that in the tomb? That was in the tomb. Oh. Where he was wrapped. Where they wrapped, they preserved him up, didn't they? They did. Mm. But that's what was left. Oh wow, preserved him, put him in a tomb. Huh? But what's next? If he's in a tomb, we know he's alive. So there's got to be something else good that happened. That's right. So what happened next? It's the empty tomb that is talked about in Matthew twenty-eight one through four. An empty tomb. An empty tomb. So. Wait a minute, wait a minute. All this happened. He died. They wrapped him up. How many days was he there? Three. Three days again? Three days again. Hmm. Three days he was in the tomb. Yep. And what's this big thing? It's the stone that was rolled away by, can you guess what? Um, the guards. Not the guards. No. The angel. An angel came? An angel came. An angel came. Yep. It rolled the stone away. What? I know. So an angel come from heaven down to where Jesus was, rolled the stone away, and Jesus said, here I am. Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. It's just an empty tomb. It's just an empty tomb. So he didn't say that yet. He didn't say that yet. Oh my goodness, I'm way ahead of the story. Well, all of this happened on Friday. And then we fast forward to Sunday. Okay. So there's only two more, so we got to be close. We got to him say, here I am. Yep, yep, yep. We're pretty here close. Here we go, here ready? we go. Is this it? Is this where he is? Yes, it is. This ha is ha, I know what's coming. Talks to the children in Matthew 28, 5 through 7. Oh, my goodness. So here's Jesus alive again, talking to kids just like we're doing. Yep. And he's telling them to spread the news. The news of what? The spread the news of him being alive. Of Jesus being alive? Yes. Oh my goodness. So he came alive. 
spread the, and told people to just tell that he's alive. Just like we do today. Hey, he's alive. Spread the news. Tell everyone. Are you ready for the next one? What's left? It's the final one. You think okay. Drum roll? The final one is the nails, which is talked about in John 20, 25 oh. through 29. Wouldn't the nails have been over here? Yes, but this is a the different type of nails. It was the holes in his hand from the nails. <clears throat> yeah. Is this? I know what the nails are. This is where, um, um, what's his name? Thomas. Yes, the doubting Thomas doubting guy. Thomas. Yes, that's where he said, I, I need to see the nail holes if this is really Jesus. Yes, he did not oh, believe it was Jesus at first. Wow. Not at all. Wow. Um, so we've done this. What What are we doing next? I mean, we've done, told an incredible story. We did. We did. We are going to go into the object lesson. Aha, uh -huh. object lesson. Let me get that. Okay. That way you don't spill nothing. Okay. Because there's more liquidy stuff in there. Yeah. And you know what? I'll probably go. For some of us, it might be hard to really understand what happened when Jesus died on the cross. What does that mean for you? Let's look at it this way. Imagine this penny is you. No matter how hard we try to be good, all of us have done bad things. These bad things are called sin. Sin covers us up. We're drowning in it. There's no way out for us on our own. But then, God sent his son, Jesus. Jesus came to be a light. He lived a perfect life. And then he died on the cross. That amazing act of love takes our sin away. If we accept Jesus and ask him for his forgiveness, watch and see what happens to our sin. As you can see, our sins are gone forever. That's what Easter is all about. lesson was so cool. Did you see that water? It was so cool. I can't believe the water went up into the no, glass was, like that. All, yeah. all of our sins gone like that. Snap of a finger. Just gone. That's how awesome oh, Jesus is. That and is right. I guess this brings us to our memory verse, huh? That is correct. All right. What What do you got today for us for memory verse? This week's memory verse is found in Matthew 28, 6. And it says, he is not here. He is risen. Just as he said. Wow. He rose. He rose. I guess I gotta repeat this now. It's time to do our second round. But I'm saying is... they need to repeat it too. You gotta repeat it gotta too. Gotta repeat it. Here we go. Here we go. You ready? Here we go. He is not. He is not. Here. Here. He is risen. He is risen. Just as he said. Just as he said. Matthew. Matthew. 28. 28. 6. 6. NIV. NIV. Oh. NIV version, huh? NIV version. Oh. Yeah. Now it's all together. All together. Are you all ready? All together. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. He is not here. He is risen. Just as he said. Matthew 28, 6. NIV. Hey, Easter is almost over. Easter is almost over. But Jesus is never over. He's That's always alive. Right. I know. Hey, what what do we got going on? Any announcements? Anything at I all? I do have a couple on? of announcements before we go. Okay. The first one is, if you haven't already, please join our Facebook page, Legacy CC Thrive Kids. Legacy CC Thrive Kids. For important updates and announcements. Okay. Number two. Number two. Next week, we'll be talking about spreading the news. Ooh, spreading, spreading the, the news. news. Hmm. Interesting. I know. Yeah. Interesting. And the last one, please stay safe. Please. See you all next week. And happy, happy Easter! Easter!